I guess you clicked on this thumbnail because you want to learn how to shoot images like that. Okay, and I will show you everything. Today I'm shooting with my Hasselblad, my old trusty Hasselblad medium format camera with a tilt shift adapter and uh, what is it? I think it's 80 millimeter lens Hasselblad and uh, we will use one flash that one a pro photo with a reflector and a honeycomb grid if you take the first shot pitch black why well because we're in sweden and it's like 3 p.m pitch black outside pro photo d2 lights on modeling light on we're shooting the can the top of the can here like this and then we have sort of the same angle out. That's where we are placing the flash. Now it's a bit too high up actually. It should be actually around here because I'm shooting above. So it's just touching the top of the can. First shot. A very punchy light. I want to have a gradient on the background. You see, it goes from dark to brightness. If I shot straight at the can, the whole background would be pink. That's also fine, of course, but I think this is cool because it's very bright at the top of the can. So it's popping out from the dark background. So all we have to do now, take something like a, if we just bounce back some light, the light, we're using that light and bouncing into this plasticky mirrory thing and what do we get? Something like that, maybe not that nice. Because I'm hitting the surface with this one. So I found a very specific angle to hold this, to get this nice streak of light in the center that I really liked. But before we do this, we should put on a diffusion. Do we have a diffusion? Yes. Now you will not see me in this camera, I guess. Let's take a shot. So now we will get kind of a, a bit softer on the top of the can. And also when we put on this diffusion, you notice how much nicer the gradient on the background will be. Very, very smooth. And um, I know many are struggling with this and I'm lucky guy have uh, Hasselblad shooting at 16 bit. So this will handle gradients. I mean, it's like crazy, you know. And all we need to do now is to spray a bit of water on the can and also to bounce back some light. This one, it will work. I can show you. Let's take a shot. I do it like this. You get this crispy, nice light. You need to have a very reflective bounce card, like a mirror. This is too beaten up actually, so we can use this mirror instead. It's a bit too big, but I can't find my, my small ones. So let's put this one here. And if you hold it, if I hold it like this, I can, we can take one like this and this would just yeah it will light up the front but if we lean it back we get this streak of light and i think this looks really cool because i'm leaning the uh, the mirror back a lot so we have the focus here and here skum tomte foam Santa. So now it's kind of clean and then we need to have some water. Let's see. A diffusion. Bye bye. And let's take the shot. Sharpness here and there. And in post I will take away this. I see there's some color pollution here. It's yellow. I will make this completely black and white. A very nice coffee today. Swedish coffee. Arvid Nordqvist. Well, actually, 
everything is Swedish today. Camera, pro photo, tabletop, IKEA music. On Spotify. And the can is Swedish. No, everything's Swedish today. Sort of. <laughs> okay. So thanks a lot for the coffee, all the coffee supporters, members supporting this channel. You're amazing. I'm planning to do another video when I shoot a um, can straight on in a very simple way. And then we will add a AI background. Oh no, not AI again. Well, this time it's not a photography realistic background. It would be more like um, graphic art, something like that, because many brands are using this. And I think it can be cool to have this in your portfolio. Um, I will show you more in that video. Coming soon. So remember, as always, I will see you and you and you and you next. Time. Oh, <laughs>